Wolverhampton is a very diverse city culturally. We live in a place where people talk to each other, people are very accepting of one another. And we all mingled very nicely together. We, we spoke different languages but we still understood each other. Everybody likes to let you know their feelings and thoughts. It's open, it's inclusive, it's wonderfully diverse. I think it's not somewhere that sings you know, particularly loudly about its achievements, um, but there is a kind of quiet um, home pride. What you see is what you get in Wolverhampton. I think it's got a sense of sort of self-deprecating humour. Um, that is exemplified in how much we embrace our accent. Local dialect is sometimes referred to as yam yam um, and a phrase that gets used in this theatre and a lot in the areas. Instead of saying, how are you? We would say, you are right, Bab? How's things? Are yam okay? <laughs> well, well, Hampton. That's what Punjabi say. I only found out what Klondikes were the other week, which are sliced potatoes. I'd never heard of them. And my mum said, oh yeah, Klondikes. Where's that come from? What's lovely about coming home is wherever you've been, the first time you hear that accent walking through the train station, it's really knowing, yeah, I'm back. I know this. I think of home as being um, both heritage um, and something that's quite constant. You can talk to people, you can trust people, you can enjoy life with people, that's, that's home. What I love about her work is that it's still quite rooted in her identity um, as somebody from the black country and as somebody who happens to be um, an Indian as well at the same time. Her funniness, <laughs> down to earth, she's so human. And it's just fantastic that she's been celebrated in this way. And I know that people will be really um, excited about seeing that at the, at the gallery. She's remained sort of grounded and down to earth and seems quite comfortable with her, with her sort of roots. It's also nice um, for Wolverhampton uh, to recognise uh, one of its heroes. We're delighted to have the portrait here at Wolverhampton Art Gallery. Um, on loan from the National Portrait Gallery as part of the Coming Home project. Jason Bell's portrait of Sayal is uh, an image that functions on, on more than one level. It's the result of a close collaboration between the artist and the sitter, and that comes through strongly in the way that it captures Sayal's character. On the one hand, she's presented as a kind of Bollywood heroine, uh, but if you look a little closer, you can see that she's standing in front of a backdrop which is crumpled, a kind of cheap imitation of the Taj Mahal um, and in this way Sayal and Bell are kind of exposing the artifice and the sort of techniques used by artists in the production of these sort of very glamorous images and she's kind of gently poking fun at Bollywood stereotypes.